episode of IFL TV in association with MTK Global. We've now got James Tennyson after his third round KO victory here in Belfast. Firstly, congratulations on the win. Great fight as well. Very entertaining against Darren Trainer. Put it into words how you're feeling right now, champ. Unbelievable. On top of the world, you know. The night was unexplainable. That crowd, you heard that for an atmosphere out there. It was, it was second to none, you know. I stopped it for me. Electric atmosphere when you entered the arena tonight. Was you expecting that? Was you expecting the crowd to be as vocal? Not yeah, as vocal, you know. I was like the first time it was good, but that time was different level. You know, they, took, they lifted the roof off that place. Maybe the crowd know like my, the nice style of fighting. So you know, I think that's, it was that was the build up. I, got, I think I got the show power. You are all action. You have got a massive punch to equalise things. Did you expect expect trainer to come out as fast as he did and come at you like that? It did. We did indeed. We were watching a few videos. Well, Tony and stuff was watching a few videos of him. He says he's going to come out fast, he's going to throw a lot of fast and hard punches. He did just that. You know, he came out, he caught me with some nice shots, you know, marked up. You know, it was, it was a good battle for how it lasted. Mm -hmm. As long as it lasted, it was all action. What can you tell me about the, the punch or the volume of punches that put things into your own sort of way? I think, to start off, I hurt him the body. Caught him a lovely left hook, oh. actually hurt him. He winced. He winced in my face. Caught him a big left hook the body and then brought the other hand right every time it was going down the body. I seen the hands were coming down. Chin was exposed, you know, landed perfectly on the button. Did you think he was going to get up and beat the count when that when that shot landed? I didn't. If, after the, this, the last knockdown, no. Mm. First knockdown, yeah, it was kind of a quick bang of straight up. Last knockdown, he lay on his back a bit. He didn't know where he was, you know. He got round his knees, he, he still sure. wasn't up, so you know, he was, he was, he was he badly hurt, up. yeah. Badly hurt. Do you think that was the right time for it to end? Nah, to be honest, I'd have preferred it went down for a good bit, you know. I was enjoying myself out there, although I was getting hit, you know. <laughs> it's, it's, part of, it's the name of the game, you know, I was enjoying myself. You look like you were thriving on this big belt fast atmosphere. Are you sort of are you feeling the love here when you box here now? Definitely, you know, definitely. I'm building it's built many up, I'm you know, building building a good profile for myself, you know, the crowd, you know, they loved it. What's next for James Tennyson? What's the plan going forward from here? What's going through your brain? Hopefully big two thousand eighteen, you know, more titles, you know, on some more big fights, you know. We're fifth in the WBA now, well probably higher than I and the tail went vegan, so you know. Was that the belt hold by Corrales? Yeah, yeah, he missed the weight, so you know, the, the belt's vegan, you know, Mark Nelly's been talking about possibly getting a shot at that, you know, so you could, you never know. Can I have a, a big 2018 on my Christmas list? That'd be incredible. Since going up in weight, since suffering defeat to Ryan Walsh, you have been on absolute fire, though, to be fair. This is your fourth good win yeah. on the belts? Yeah, fourth, fourth good win, you know, all competitive fights, you know, all mm. top 50 50 fights, so you know. Making good progress, you know, I'm learning and it's just the fights I need to learn and make the progress I want to be making. Do you think like Dunlop and Eddie can pull things and get you a potential shot at that WBO title? Would that be your, your dream and aspiration? Yeah, definitely, you know, I'll put it my Christmas list and I'll hand it over, so, you know, fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> Belfast boxing is booming, we've only got to look at the names like such as Carl Frampton and Ryan Burnett as well, putting on these big shows, giving people opportunity. Are you thankful that these guys are around and doing their thing to allow you guys a platform to build? Definitely, you know, they're bringing massive nights here and see being part of it, you know, it's, you can't, you can't really put it into words, it's unbelievable, you know, what a feeling. Congratulations on the win, thank you and the team for talking to Eiffel TV, you're not talking at the case, I've never met someone so quiet, what's happening lad, you alright? Oh, oh, right. oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. How do you put it into words then, how do you think you've done today? Well, he, he done fab. It was, a, it was a, a real exciting fight for the Belfast crowd, and the Belfast crowd were really big. <laughs> and um, you know, Belfast has always had great talent, always, but just never had that bridge over into the pro game. Yeah. So it's Eddie Hearn here. I marked a lot managing these kids on local shows and getting the, getting the touch with Eddie Hearn and Ryan Burnett. And um, with Burnett's talent and winning the world title has brought Eddie Hearn over the Belfast. The, um, and these kids have got a chance now. And tennis and is very, very exciting, very talented. And um, the future is, is going to be very big for James Tennyson. Well done, lads. Congratulations on the win. We'll catch you all soon. Thank you very much.